Hey folks, a brand new version 2 of this amazing synthesizer from Radical Technologies has been released recently. And if you already own an original Delta Set A, you can now easily upgrade it with the new V2 firmware. How to do that and what the new version can do more than the old one, you'll find out in this video. See you in a moment. Delta Set A from Radical is one of the synthesizers that we use often and with pleasure here in the studio. In my opinion, still the most underrated synth you can find on the market today. Just like the original Delta, the V2 version comes as a standalone module or alternatively for integration into your Eurorack system. The module version convinces not only with a pleasingly stable case, but also with full Dean MIDI connections as well as 6.3mm jacks for the audio ins and outs. Audio ins? Of course, because the Delta is not only a cool synthesizer, but also a great effects unit. The hardware of the new V2 version differs only in a few details from its predecessor. Now for the desktop version, there is a headphone connector on the back panel. On the front panel and on the back, it now says Delta Set A2. And a few details of the labeling are different. Because this is not so much, you ask yourself if it's worth to exchange your old Delta for a new one. We will also get to the bottom of this question in the course of the video. Because for this test, we simply updated our Delta Mark I to firmware version 2. And how this works leads directly to the first point. To update the Delta, it's easy and rather fascinating, so just follow me. The first thing you will have to do is to download uh, the firmware version 2.0 from September here on the Radical website. And once you have done this, you unpack it and you will get this WAV file. 8-bit mono, 24 kilohertz. And you know, I like 8-bit. So once you've opened this in your audio editor, here in my case it's Ocean Audio on a Mac, you will have to connect an audio output. In this case I take the headphone jack from the Mac to the external in of the mixer section of the Delta Sep A. So. Once you have made all your connections, you just press start and as the WAV file starts to play, it will automatically put the Delta Sep in the firmware update mode. So let's check it out. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, flashy lights happening and um, now we have to wait, because this audio file has to be played into the Delta in its entire length, which is something about 10 minutes. So once the update is done, you will see that all those lights here are showing green. The new firmware is transferred to the memory and you're good to go. Just restart your Delta. So, let's take a look at some Einmachen. 
und zum Anmachen. Ready! Another very interesting function of the new version 2 is the inbuilt step sequencer. To access it, just hold the shift button down and press learn. So the first thing you have to do now is to play a key on your controller on your keyboard. So the first note that you play will be repeated until you play the next note. In the same time, the number of steps is indicated here in the LED row. And here you have your sequence. Now you can simply leave the sequencer mode and continue to tweak the sounds just by pressing learn. Then, as I told you in the intro, the Delta Set A is not only a very cool synthesizer, but also an extremely capable effects unit. And with the version A2, there's a new reverb algorithm that uh, features some more parameters to tweak directly from the UI. So here is my sequence again. And now if you want to dial in the reverb, just press down the paraphonic button, which is now also relabeled with reverb parameter. By holding down the reverb parameter and the shift button in the same time, you can access two more reverb parameters. The time knob will then serve to widen the stereo image of your reverb signal. And with the feedback button, you can dial in the damping of the reverb.
And of course, the reverb comes as an addition to the other effects that are already there. So you can dial in delay, for example. Well then, what can I say about this? If something is really well done, you don't necessarily have to reinvent the wheel every time. And improving good products is basically a good thing, because that increases their utility value. In this respect, the Delta Sap A, both in its original version and in the new 2 version, is a very sustainable synthesizer, which also sounds extremely good and versatile. So if you want to buy one, you have the choice between the Eurorack version for 899 euros or the desktop version, which currently costs 1189. So the same as before. And if you order the Delta via my affiliate links, I'll get a share. Thanks for that. If you don't have gas or just not have the money for it, I'm happy about a like. So see you in the next video. Peace and auf Wiedersehen. Wow.